It's a big, exciting world. And we're always together with screens. But are these screens good for us? What happens if too many screens push us apart? Digital media has completely captured the attention of children. Are children developing differently because of the way that they're using screens? Absolutely. Kids are spending seven to nine hours on screens daily. We've handed vulnerable and developing minds profoundly powerful tools without any instruction manual or received wisdom on how to use them safely. Many parents find their relationship with children has been taken over by a constant battle over their screens. How can parents best raise healthy children in this new digital world? From the baby that's being breastfed while mom is scrolling, to how kids interact with each other, how they form friendships, all of it is directly impacted by these devices and how they interconnect us all. We've always been concerned about children's use and overuse of screens. Interestingly, the pandemic, I think, has only put that into sharper focus. Over the past 10 years, we've seen a seismic shift in society. One where children went from having real childhoods to having digital childhoods. One where children went from playing in sandboxes and making friends to playing on tablets and learning on laptops. We have not experienced this level of change to childhood in our lifetimes. The primary driver of children's online experience has been tech companies that primarily focus on profit and commanding uh, the attention span of our children. And those two things together uh, rarely end well. How we study these problems is the biggest problem. And change right now is very rapid. The technology that we're studying is moving so quickly and evolving so quickly. And one social media platform that is relevant one minute is completely irrelevant and not used by any teenagers the next. There is absolutely a need for more research and understanding. Scientists are beginning to ask questions that have never been asked before. parents, teachers, people who are working directly with children and adolescents. Those are the folks we need to reach with our research. 10 years ago, as technology was becoming more prevalent, I realized and it became clear that science didn't have the answers. We would need to start an institute that would fund this kind of research. Children's Screens has occupied a unique and important space in opening up a vital conversation and by supporting interdisciplinary research and collaboration. I have been so appreciative of the ongoing efforts of Children and Screens to bring evidence-based information and perspectives. Children and Screens does vital work and it really can only be done uh, in the type of inclusive, multidisciplinary environment free of commercial support that Children and Screens provides. Ultimately, it's all the groups together. We need therapists, we need education professionals, we need parents and caregivers. You know, without collaboration, we leave young people entirely unprepared. What Children and Screens has managed to do is bring a very balanced platform to these questions. It's encouraged research, it's sponsored research, but equally importantly, it has shared its findings with the broader community. Through our seed grant program, Children in Screens has funded many interdisciplinary projects, including generating a measurement tool that allows researchers to examine family media use and its impacts. We've also funded research looking at brain variations as a function of social media use. In terms of the public impact, I think the webinar series is absolutely outstanding. 
These are experts in the field having conversations. They are a treasure. They're helping us understand the research. They're helping us understand, wait, I'm not alone. There are many families going through this, and now I have some tools to move forward and to help my child get healthier. With the help of an amazing board of advisors, Children in Screens is poised to lead this effort. We need to understand the consequences, um, and not just on our children and families, but at a societal level. We need to understand as much as possible about where we're going uh, in the future. We can't think about it as a black and white, good or bad kind of effects, but a more nuanced question. We never want to give up on the beauty of childhood itself. I think that nonprofits have a special place to be able to lobby for kids, because who's lobbying for the kids? I really hope that there will be an awakening. Children need to be protected. Our lives used to be so simple. But even though things have changed, we can adapt and still live healthily. We can balance our screens and experience the world around us. Our future will be bright, and it all starts with you.